Rob, huge congratulations. A fabulous performance there to beat Nathan Aspinall. How are you feeling after that one? I feel great, obviously, you know. And um, what I would like to say, you know, you look at the game and Nathan there, how much bottle did he have? Every last start, everything, just keep yourself in the game, you know. He had a chance sort of with the 15, the 32 or whatever it was off the 47, but no, just happy to win. Most of that game, you are in the 109 average. Do you realise how good it is when you're in the moment up there? Oh, when I want to do it, you know. I said, like, I'm practising and I did, I'm not practising as much as what I used to, I would say that, because I've had a bit of time off. But I've had a sort of like this week, for instance, I've done a couple of practices and they've, they've been around it, you know. I know the game's there and just enjoying it more than ever, really, going up there, more aggressive. Those games like that that are so close and when you're being pushed the whole way, does that keep you focused throughout the whole game where you don't have time to switch off? Yeah, I suppose so, but not only that, it just gives you a buzz, you know. When you want to stay in front and, and I only had one break and I broke early, I had a great first session. I think I ran the 107 um, when I walked off. Um, yeah, it, it, it just sort of stay in front and be able to hold it, show your minerals, you know. And, but like I said, Nathan there, credit to him. He was fantastic. You've been threatening this all year. We've seen some special performances in tournaments and not quite got over the line. Do you feel that special moment is now closer than ever? Oh dear, I wouldn't say that, you know. I know what I'm like and it could all go back to normal tomorrow, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but look, darts is darts and, and you have to get up there and you have to perform. I want to perform. I want to put the best performance on what I can. Um, not 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 just for me, maybe the crowd now, maybe just taking everything in and, and wanting to perform. And I think sort of with the experience what I've got now, I, I'm able to do that. I'm lucky I can sort of switch off. And the more I switch off, the better I am. But realistically, sort of to say you win it, you're free out, it, it means nothing, you know. When you're on last, obviously you see the night unfold. When Michael crashes out, does your mindset change at all? No, not really. You've got Nathan Aspinall when he's dangerous, you know. You've got to go up there, you've got to perform like tonight. And if you don't, you'll go home like I said last night in my last interview. But um, I think, I think yeah, look, when he crashes, it's not much much of a shock than when I started the game. You know, when I started this game seven years ago, Michael was winning most, and credit to him. And now, now he's, I'm not saying he's winning nothing and not putting him down, but at the same time, he doesn't win as much. Rob, congratulations. Cheers. Rob, you said more aggressive there. Has that been a key to your success over the last few weeks? Yeah, I just I just enjoying it a little bit more, you know. I get into it. I'm I'm a little bit more arrogant, I suppose, you know. I I focus more on the game, but you need that. It's a selfish game. Anyone what tells you it isn't, it is, you know. Um, I just want the best for me. That's that's pretty much it, you know. This is don't really get any more complicated than that. Winning averages tonight, 91, 90, and I think 89. You've blown it out of the water tonight. You must feel really confident going into the next round. No, not really. I've I've still got to perform like that to, in a couple of days, you know. And um, everyone's dangerous. They all they all got their qualities and they all got their stuff, what they're good at. Damon's no mug, you know. I've been practising with him on the dartboard and you can never overlook him. When he's on it, he's quality, you know. So it's just sort of bit by bit, really. Just go back out there, perform, and and if I'm performing the way I am at the minute and as happy as what I am, then who's to say yeah, that I couldn't really go bigger? But the way you're playing, you must feel that there's a big opportunity here at the Grand Slam. No, one game at a time. I'm going back to the way I used to be. I used to overlook the draw and then I used to go out with my tail between my legs. So we're definitely not doing that. <laughs> definitely not doing that. So now one game at a time. Don't take anything for granted. Just get your head down, just play, and um, hopefully enjoy it too. Cheers, Rob. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Rob, you said that you've not been practising as much as you normally do. Do you think that's helped your game, though, just not, not spending that much time on, on the board and just helping keep refreshed? I think I think my problem is my problem is, is that um, I'm quite ritual in what I, what I like to do, and I always have been. Even day one when I turned up, I like to get that normal routine, what I've always spoke about over the years, and... The only difference now, I'm, I'm not relying on that. I'm actually saying, do you know what, Rob Cross is good enough to win now. And, and I don't need to put all them hours in. I just need enough just to sort of tip me over to the next week. And yeah, it's, it's changed. The throw's a lot looser, it's a lot sweeter. And 
you know, if it, if it carries on, then yeah, who knows? And we heard the fight and talk and stage that you want to win everything, you want to be the next Phil Taylor. Not really heard language like that before. Does that just show a new mindset and new determination from you? I think the mindset is very, very good. Look, to achieve what Phil's done and and dominate, it's 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 impossible. You really got to look at it. But at the same time, I said it. I want to come in, I want to win everything. And if you're competing and giving yourself chances, I suppose that's all you can ask these days. Because look, the field, the players, everyone's too strong, you know? But you have to be a little bit biased to yourself at the end of the day and, and, and want more. And if you don't want it, go home, you know? And from every year since you've been on tour, I think apart from one year you've made a ranking major final. So you are due one, you think it will be this week or...? Maybe, why not mine head and the World Championship with the way that you're playing? Yeah, look, I, did, I took an interview the other week and I said I'd love to win all three. But, um, yeah, we'll just, we just see how it plays out. That's that's all. That's where I am, you know. I know the game's in good fettle, but, you know, you've got to get up there and still do it. So that's the most, in, most important thing, really. But, yeah, get up there and enjoy it. Rob, big well done. Thank you. Cheers. Rob, obviously both team target today. Do you approach it any differently, being a, effectively almost like a teammate? No, nah, not really. Obviously, Nathan's a great boy, you know. Um, I'd, I'll get on with Nath, but no, nah, you don't approach it any different, you know. We all got different contracts, I'm sure, yeah, we're all on different money and, yeah, everything's so much different apart from we're team target. But, look, you've got to get up there and you've got to look at yourself and say to yourself, if you want it, you've got to go out and get it, you know which I did today. And obviously a really nice int intimate venue today. Did the crowd get behind you? Oh, they cheered Nathan's song. I thought it was amazing today. You know, um, Nathan's song, they carried on singing it for a couple of legs. And, you know, I've not really seen that before. So, yeah, it was intimate. It wasn't intimidating either. And, and what a great crowd, you know. I love that. I love that. Excellent. Congratulations. Cheers. Uh, Rob, um, how we doing? Uh, Nathan asked what pushed you really far today. I mean, just how good did you have to be to win? I did, obviously, I had to be good. The difference is, look, Nathan's number six. He's world match play champion. You're not going up there and you're not really playing a Scooby. I don't think there is a Scooby out there anymore, really. It'd be nice to find one because I'd like an easier <laughs> game. But um, at the same time, look, credit Nathan. He just don't go away. He's got bags full, bag full of bottle. You know, when he's up there and he's trying to roll on, he gets back within sort of a leg and then and then it falls away again. But um nah for me, just just enjoyed the game, just just sort of yeah, tried to grind it out at the end and all. Yeah, and previously you said that um, in tournaments when you were in playing playing in the past, you said that you overlooked opponents when you looked at the group um who was coming next. So how do you see that differently now? What do you do? Well, you've still got to just do your job, you know, and that's exactly what it is. I think um, all the tour card holders, they'll be the first person to say to you, if you're successful, yeah, you earn great money and, and you have probably one of the best jobs in the world, especially for me because I always dream to be a dart player. Um, but, but sort of looking at that, you know, you can't take anything for granted now. The field's so strong. It's, it's, it's always workmanlike, really, you know. And you've got to make sure your game's in the best place where it can be. And you go for ups and downs also. So he's sort of dealing with a lot now. Um, but it is so strong. And, and you have to try and these performances sort of make it worth it, I suppose. Yeah. So it's the a case of, of like, keeping yourself grounded. I've always been grounded. Yeah. Never changed. <laughs>